What's up everybody, Eagle Firefly Gaming here, and here we are with another exploration series on the Tengu. Catch you in a mo. Hello everybody, welcome back to this next Tengu video. Hope you're all doing well. I'm really excited to get back into EVE. And we jump straight into the Tengu here. We are doing um, a rookie mining series alongside this. But I wanted to jump back into the Tengu and get back up to speed with what's been going on. First things first, as soon as I jump back in, I really wanted this skin. And here it is. It's the Hunter Green Magneto skin. Uh, I think this looks really dope. Uh, I'm going to cloak up here because we've got a couple of people coming in. Uh, we are sat in a low sec pocket, so we're just going to hide here for a minute while we go through a couple of things. So if you would hit that like and subscribe button, that would be awesome. It helps me out and it gets us out there to people who can see my content and join the team. We have a Discord link in the description below and also in the comments section. So if you want to come in, get some tips from me, get some tips from the team, you're all very welcome. It's new player friendly, so there's no need for any uh, super massive experience heads. We're all friendly in there and we all like to, to get stuff done. Uh, so right, so this is the Tengu. I'm going to pull up the fitting window, we're just going to have a little look. Um, so this is my uh, exploration stroke, wormhole stroke, low sec stroke, move around. Do a bit, bit of whatever, and so I'm going to start from the top. So I'm working on this uh, against a hybrid version. Uh, there used to be a hybrid PvP version. You can PvP in this, but you are very, very limited as to what you can do. Um, if you start coming up against fast kiting frigates, you you've had it. Like if you can't get out, so uh, there is quite a bit of tank with this. Uh, I'll post the fitting in the description below. Uh, so that you can copy it if need be. It's always nice to see the Tengus out there. So here's a little bit of a look at the skin. Uh, again, if I uh, can't see it while you're cloaked. They've actually gone now, so I can uh, I can uncloak in a minute anyway. Uh, right, so on the top row, so we've got five missile launchers. Uh, we, are, we have dropped a rack. Um, we're still doing sort of 250 DPS. Not a massive amount of DPS with precision loaded. Uh, but when we've got the heavies on, let's have a look, see if we can do it cloaked, might not be able to. No. Also, one of the great additions to me, for me, uh, coming back, was the skill point loss, getting rid of the skill point loss for Tengus when you die. I think that's brilliant, you don't have to go and retrain all those skills again and go through it again and again. Uh, it just means we can welt more Tengus to the, to the cause. Uh, so we're going to reload all... Oh, do we not have enough? Yeah, we do. Oh, got all upset with me. Never mind. Okay, so five missile launchers on the top. Uh, we got a salvager, which we can swap out for a launcher. And we got the salvager because we're salvaging sleeper loot. So basically, we can take a little bit longer to start to take the sleeper sleeper loot. Very the sleeper. I can't, I'm so tired today. Get the sleeper chips down and then we can obviously salvage them, but the ISK per damage is fine. Um, we've got the combat probe, the, the expanded with the 10 sisters core probes in there, and the covert ops cloak so we can zip away and zip around. Uh, we're also uh, nullified as well, so we've got the interdiction nullifier, accelerated ejection bay, covert reconfiguration, and the graviton reactor, which does capacitor and also there's heavy nukes in when we do the sleeper stuff so that helps us out uh, we've got a decent large thucker cat battery in there which also has the warfare resistance in there which stops us getting muted out which is always handy it's all right it's nice when you come up against blood stuff as well uh, so we're just going to do an afterburner version of this you can do mwd but if you get scrammed you've had it we've got a scram there so when we get up close we can brawl relic analyzer for the sites when we go and doing them in the wormholes and in low sec and that's pretty much the mid slots damage control so it gives us that buffer with the armor 
and the structure just gives us that little bit of buffer tank when we're going to repair on the shield booster. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, and then obviously we've got the power grid mods down below to react to control units because we need the power grid. And the reason why we need the power grid is because we've got the extra large shield booster too. Now you can use this as a navy, Aldari navy, but the price just absolutely flies up. And we're going to get a thousand repair points per four seconds, which is a third of your shield. So you're going to lose a third of your shield and you can just gain it straight back. Um, now it's not cap stable. Uh, we're going to drop this into simulation. Um, if you turn off the afterburner, the scram, the relic, you get about a minute's worth of brawl. So if you can take everything down within a minute, you're good to go. Uh, but we're not going to preferably get into that kind of situation. Uh, the idea is that we're going to be covert. Anything that we're going to get in that's worried, we're worried about, we're just going to get out of there and cloak up and hide. Um, like I say, I am working on a hybrid turret fit which will be more brawly there is a couple of fits that I've got that are outdated um, but we'll get those updated all right so we'll get in there and do some action so the first thing that we can do here to test this fit out is that we can do some belt ratting uh, in low sec um, so I do have my local window open um, so don't be don't be fooled I have I do have everything up uh, I'm just going to actually open my D-scan. Uh, I will do a D-scan tutorial soon. So keep an eye out for that if you're not sure on how that works. So a good thing practice is to keep an eye on your local and your D-scan. And we're going to be spamming that in the wormholes as well. Um, now this is good because it just gets your eye in a little bit. Um, because in wormholes there's no local so the closest thing that you can do is well you can do null sec but the chances are if you're in null sec you're going to get pounded on pretty quickly once you get all over the intel channels the same thing can happen in low sec but what you really need to do is find yourself a nice little little pocket where there's not much traffic um, once we kill this npc i'll show you how that you can how you can do that um, but i want to just demonstrate the shield repair in a moment. So we have got somebody coming in, so we just need to make sure. Spamming that D scan. As soon as this is dead, then we're going to cloak up. Okay, so now we're going to cloak up. Or not, because we're near a wreck. Now we're going to cloak up and we're going to stop. So we'll just let these people just disappear. Uh, okay, so going to go into the map. So what you can see where I am now, that's fine, but I don't hang about here. I'm in a wormhole and I might be on the other side of the map tomorrow. So, okay. Here is the map set in security status. So anything that's green and yellow or blue is high sec or yellow even. And anything that's orange, red, or red is low second below. Uh, now a good thing that you can do is if you open up the world map control panel, voila, and you've got loads of little, little, little options there. So you can see where incursions are happening. You can see where there's, don't know if that's still a thing, storms, or I can't remember what that's for. Um, that was for when they had some events on. I think that's still a, a thing for the Triglavian space. I can't, I'm not quite sure. A bit rusty on that one. So actual color of the systems, uh, DED stuff uh, for high sec uh, and for epic arc stuff. But we want security status. And if you scroll all the way down to statistics, you've got another bunch of handy stuff here. There is other ways you can do this as well, but we're not going to cover that today. So average pilots in space in the last 30 minutes. So as you can see, if you click that, you get a whole lot of blobs all over the map. The bigger the blob, the more the people, and that'll be Jita. There you go. But what we're looking for is there's a low sec pocket down here. This is where we are. So when we're going into the wormholes, we'll be going into the wormhole, and then we may be jumping out of the wormhole into a low sec system or a high sec system that's got low sec connection. When we come out of the wormhole, what we're looking at is how many people are in space. That's the most important thing to, 
well, the, the second most important thing to us, maybe third. So it's one of them. So anyway, we want to see how many pilots are in space in the last 30 minutes. Now, this isn't completely accurate, but it's pretty close. So as you can see, is we've got loads of pockets down here that have had no pilots in in the last 30 minutes. Now, that's not to say that somebody is going to come jumping in and log on and then you're going to get in trouble. But what it does tell you is that there's no gate, necessarily any gate camps. Don't be fooled by that. Still do your homework. There's more stuff that you can do. You can also check docked. Okay, so then again, we're here. So you can also see that pilots in space, there's not really anyone down here. But then if we go docked pilots, there's also no docked pilots either. So the chances are that, that this area around here, I don't even know if you can see my mouse on there yet. I think you can. This area around here is quiet. To confirm, you can also go how many jumps there were in the last hour. Uh, and can't remember which color is. Okay, so no cut, light blue, dark blue is no jumps, almost, or maybe one or two. Yeah, one jump. Right. Okay, so the blue of the color, the less the jumps. So we're looking around this area here. So we've got a dark blue, dark blue, dark blue, dark blue, and then a turquoise. Fifteen jumps. It's quite busy around that area. There's also a couple of pocket right there where there's no traffic whatsoever there's no traffic no pilots in space and nobody docked so a good area if you've got a covert ops if you want to go and have a play is down here if you can get there so there's your route so it's in a 0.2 in Corazor might might be faction warfare, warfare space so you need to be careful so there's your route in so you can go down there and have a look down there um, you want low traffic areas like I'm in a low traffic area here one or two people pop in but let's be honest unless you're in a curse or something that you know is gonna take a Tengu down you're not gonna fight it you're just gonna stroll on past and close your eyes so no just go to the next belt because there's no one here so that's how we find decent low sec pockets okay you still need to be careful you still need to keep an eye out of your local and descan um, any more than, well, I usually get a bit scared if we have one person coming in. Uh, especially, uh, this isn't really a, a brawl fit, it's more of a kitey fit. So, what we're looking for in low sec belts are the high value targets. So, um, I can't promise that I'm going to come across one uh, in this recording, but what we're going to be looking for is targets that have high bounty uh, and used to be that I forget now but it used to be that officer spawns used to come into low second null sec it mainly null sec pockets that probably doesn't happen anymore it's probably more faction that drops not that drops in there now um, I'm in a Mars space and I've never come across um, a blood faction spawn in a belt in a belt yet so I'm going to make it my little task to try and find one. You can pick up some of this loot if you like. Whether it's actually going to be worth anything, I don't know. Look at the skin. I love the skin. Control F9. This is one of my favourite skins. Do you remember when I was trying to get the winter skin? That was ages ago. Um, but yeah. That's what we was doing when we left off. Just going to approach this now. So some of this is just a little bit of a fly around, me talking, catching up with you guys. It would be great to uh, have a chat with some of you guys in the comment section. See what you'd like and um, what your questions are about the Tengu. Um, we are going to, like I promised uh, quite a while ago, and I never I never kept up with it. I hold my hands with that. Um, we are going to be pushing this Tengu stuff more, more often now. Um, alongside the new player content. I think it's important at the minute. Um, sorry, a lot. Some of this is going to be me chatting, but I feel like I'm talking to you guys. So I want to. We'll carry on the conversation in the comments. But for me, uh, new player retention is big on this game. Um, I do know that you know I, I love CCP. I'm not going to lie. I really do. I, I think they've done a great job. Um, and you know, new player retention is a big thing, and Eve is a massive massive learning curve i mean i remember when i started eve there was there was eve university i'll pop a link to eve university down below for those of you that don't know about it 
EV University was the only thing that I had and it helped me out tenfold. It was absolutely brilliant back then. We didn't have the YouTube videos, we didn't have all the tutorials that are out there, we didn't have tutorial channels, we just had what we could go off. Um, so new players are actually quite lucky and are, you know, really lucky nowadays that we can do this and we can show the new players what to do and what they aspire to. Um, you know, stuff like that. So new player retention is a big thing and we've seen that the new player experience is coming along. I've actually checked it out on CC and it is really good. Um, it's very blingy, it's very eye candy, you know, I think it's great, I like a bit of eye candy, I'm all for that. So we'll just finish up in this next belt and then we'll jump into a wormhole and then we'll see what we can find in a wormhole. So we found ourselves a blood rally point, so this is some good practice for when we nip into the wormhole shortly. So we've got, we're going to just load some fury here lock these up. Uh, so there's a good demonstration of the tank of this extra large shield boosting fit. So it's one click, full repair from a third and then we want to keep the capacitor above 80%. Okay so we'll run this site quickly and then we'll pop back in a moment. everybody thank you for watching we didn't find a wormhole to jump into so I'll go work on that in the background 
as soon as we jump in one i shall pop another video up and we'll go through that next uh, so thank you for coming to watch this video on the low sec ratting i hope it's been useful uh, this fit is a little bit low dps uh, this probably would be better suited for a legion which guess what on my other character we have a legion so we're gonna obviously compare the legion and the tengu uh, well obviously we're gonna stay tengu focused um, but we're gonna compare the two uh, so thank you for watching if you're still here please hit that like and subscribe button uh, please keep an eye out on the other videos if you need to any help on anything let me know um, and also check out the other videos thank you for watching and let's blow this baby down and we'll see you soon see you later